All right, so we have what seems like a pretty reasonable um, burn here, 934 meters per second of delta V in 20 minutes. We have 1,100, so it'll leave us with about 250, 300, assuming we burn correctly. And uh, that's not too shabby. Now, do I, with the smart ASS, have the ability to go to the node? I do. So we'll face that maneuver node. All right, so I think we're gonna do this. Now, solar power is probably going to be something of an issue on this thing, so we're not gonna actually use the satellite dish until we're where we want to be transmitting data because I don't have any of the extendable solar panels yet, unfortunately. So let's warp around. And how long of a burn is this going to be with this engine? Probably. Precision does count somewhat here. I'll probably burn on the 30 seconds beforehand side, I guess, here. So let's call that good as far as time warping goes. Get this set to node prograde. No, node. That's what I meant to do. And engine is activated, so we should be good to go here in a minute. So let's just warp a little bit more. I don't know if I have the ability to warp to the node yet, but I'm just going to be careful and try to do it myself. All right, 39 seconds. Just give it a little bit of a... Does it give me estimated burn, burn 44 seconds? Okay. So the goal here is to kind of split that over the, the two uh, halves. So we'll just burn it about 22 seconds and should be good. And of course it lied about the better burn time, but hopefully it's close enough to good that it will work. I feel like I'm flying a lot more by the seat of my pants than I like right now. We're kind of like at the edge of what our tech and uh, mech, you know, mech jab and stuff is able to handle right now. So it's a lot of uh, old-fashioned flying that I don't do too much of. But once we get closer to being completed with this burn, start throttling back. And then we can check our result. Turn that off. Just focus prograde. Don't be crazy. All right, clear the node off. Boom. So we still have. I'm going to. Oh, we're fine. Uh, we do not have an encounter. So what I'm going to do is get out to somewhere like here. We probably overburned a little bit. I wonder if we can burn. That doesn't really seem to affect things that much. Oh, it, you, oh. All right, so what do we got there? A periapsis of a lot. A little hard to do too fine of maneuvering here. And that is a ridiculous encounter. hate fiddling with maneuver nodes sometimes. Uh, let's try burning that way. Geez, that is hard to see. I could focus on Minmus, I suppose, but All right, we lost the encounter. I want to get fairly close. That's pretty good. Of course, we'll probably miss execute yet again. Now, Mechjeb, can you actually warp me? Any of these have the option to smart warp. Um, do, 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 do. I don't think I have anything that's actually going to auto execute here. Uh, the 
flight computer. I, I'm on local control, so yeah, I pretty much have to just time warp here again. Let's go ahead and do it. It's not that far of a time warp. You know, there's probably science I could be gathering, isn't there? Just realized that. Where is my science thingy? Here, boom. What do we have available? EVA report. Close that down. Everything's making me nervous when I'm clicking on stuff, especially that shaky camera. That was enough to probably screw our course up. All right, hold on to that for now. We got that on board. Mystery goo, those ones are both gonna have to return, so I'm gonna let that be. We want our smart ASS back. Is the space center visible? Yeah, it is. Let's go ahead and transmit that. Alright, cool beans. All right, so we're gonna do this burn from the menu here to try to actually uh, view what's happening. I could change my focus over here, I guess, but I just kind of want to see this actually happen the way it should. And I'm probably gonna do this burn more or less exactly on uh, on target here. So let's actually turn. That off and just put this on this just because I don't want it following the part of the problem was that the computer went crazy and tried to follow the maneuver node as we overburned and so it kind of like flailed us out on an insane thing this is not going to take a lot of thrust so I'm just gonna gently do this burn probably it started at negative like T minus three here All that good. What did we get for a result here? Ugh. Not as good as I would have liked, but we can always adjust. Well, actually, what, what was that? Oh, we're going to go over. What? Minus periaps. Why? Oh, I. That's my curb and periapsis. That's my. Okay. My app. Well, it's confusing. I know it's showing both of those, but hopefully we will actually have this encounter. Let's go ahead and warp out there. Quick save just in case things get crazy. And close that down, close that down. Bring up my science window just so we can see when there are new experiments available. I tried using the, uh, the science alert, but science alert just breaks being able to transmit science, uh, at least it did when I was trying it out in uh, version 1.0.5 or whatever. Uh, it just, it was not good, so. Where is our encounter here? In this encounter. It's a very confusing The conical thing seems more confusing than I remember it being. Why is it stopping my time warp so badly? I don't care.
We got days to go here, man. And one day. Minmus always makes me more nervous than the Mun for some reason. I, it's kind of more forgiving because the gravity is so much lower. It doesn't really take much to uh, break orbit and stuff. But for some reason, uh, it always makes me more nervous. I guess this is because we're so far from Kerbin. It's definitely taking me a little while to get used to doing all this stuff again. It makes me a little uncomfortable, especially because we have permadeath on. Okay, and let's slow it down for the actual... Not slow down that much. Just like sometimes when you shift uh, spheres of influence, things kind of get funky if you're at a high time warp. So, boom. Awesome sauce. So, our periaps is not too bad. And then when we leave here, what is our return to Kerbin like? We have pretty much an automatic return. Awesome. So, I don't think I'm going to use any fuel here. Let's go ahead. Where is the space center? Actually, I can't tell where Kerbin is facing right now. Go ahead and deploy our dish. Where is my dish? Dish, dish, dish. Do we have line of sight? We do. Oh god, I hate this like right mouse click. I wonder if that can be disabled. Not a fan. Okay, so all the windows are just getting on top of each other here. Observe the mystery goo. So we should be returning a pretty decent amount of science from here, which is nice. We'll get a decently close flyby. I'm just going to do a, fly, a regular flyby. I'm not going to worry about getting too close because we have to come back out here to get the low orbit science stuff anyway, and we really can't do that. Let's open the bay door so we can actually see what we're doing here. Does this do anything right now yes it does keep the data log the temperature why do we only get 50 that doesn't make any sense why well, you only get 50 percent of the data returned it's a temperature and this one i think we just transmit everything right yeah And then there's probably an EVA report to do out here. Crew report. Transmit that. Did I close the antenna? No, I didn't. Okay. For some reason, this EVA is making me nervous. Let's do it. Because the ship shakes. Feels like something's gonna explode because the ship shakes when I do that, but whatever. All right, so I think that's everything we're gonna be doing from here. Let's deactivate the dish for now to save power. And take a look at our flyby here. Get warping along here. And we are going to do a little bit of a burn, I think, on the return, just so that we bring our uh, periapsis up. Because right now, our it says our encounter is going to be like 24. I'd rather that be like 36, so that we're not quite as deep in the uh, so a, shallow, a, a steep angle into the atmosphere. Because it's actually kind of hard to return from here. You get a lot of speed. We get close to periapsis. Well, I don't think we're going to be in low enough orbit that it's going to have any new experiments or anything. Yeah, it's just going to be high over. But we can actually get out and take a look. Oh, there's Kerbin back there too. Nice. It's been a fun trip. So let's close that window down and get back to our map view. And say goodbye to Minmus for now. We shall return, my friend. We shall return. Did we come? Does it? What does it say about our mission here? Very two tours. Very, I wish it would just default to leaving those closed. We did our flyby. Awesome sauce. All right, let's get out of the sphere of influence here. All right, so we're looking at. Was that an accurate calculation? Yeah, twenty-four still. So. 
we want to lift that up. We're near our Apple app, so it makes sense to add a maneuver. And I'm just worried about clicking over here because I don't want to have things go nuts on me here. All right, let's go with Now, this is not where I want this to be. We're in the wrong place. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Add a maneuver here. We're traveling the opposite way that I thought we were. It makes sense because we were trying to do the free return thing. Why did that bring it way too much? I want to do a tiny burn here. You know, I might not even set a maneuver node. We can just, we have enough fuel that I think we can just watch the results here. So let's just do that. Go to Smart ASS, Prograde. Get rid of the node because it's annoying. Where is Kerbin? I lost a planet. Well, it doesn't really matter hard to spot stuff in space so if I hit this whoo 36 that ought to be pretty good I would think and hopefully it won't take more than one time around to actually do this let's save again and start falling home Please don't hit me, moon. Actually, I think we might not even have to worry about... Well, I don't know if we would have gone through the moon sphere of influence. That's always something you have to worry about a little bit with... Uh, when you're dealing with uh, Minmus. All right, now... Let's get retrograde. And I'm worried about ejecting this thing because we will be out of battery power relatively quickly if we don't actually stop. But if I burn a little bit here, it shouldn't affect my uh, periaps too bad. And we can at least get some of the energy out of this. Actually, if I burn radial, is that what I want to do? Yeah, so we'll burn this way a little bit just to raise the periaps up even a little further and then we'll do a little bit of retrograde burning. So we definitely do want to make it far enough into the atmosphere that this will actually stop us within one or two orbits, but not so much that we burn up because we're going to be coming in at pretty much interplanetary like 3.6 kilometers probably per second it's pretty ridiculous speed so they bring this down to like 34 I don't know I don't know how these new atmospheric mo like I'm used to playing with deadly re-entry and uh, the default aerodynamics and stuff so I'm not the old default aerodynamics so I'm not real sure how this is going to work out now we are not even going to be coming back into the sun by the time we hit the atmosphere so it probably makes sense to ditch this it probably makes sense to fast forward when we get close to the atmosphere we'll ditch this we might get a little bit of a solar charge here nope not going to get a solar charge so fingers are officially going to be crossing we have seven. I, I put extra batteries on here, so I don't need to worry as much as I am. I'm being a, a nervous Nelly. And, whoa, that, that kind of scared me because it happened at the exact same time that I did that. Turn this over to service mode, so we're kind of following the uh, curvature here. We're going to have a nice re-entry over sunset here. Will this be enough? Oh my god, we're getting some pretty bad heating. So we didn't come in as fast as I thought. We we're only at about three kilometers per second. That's a lot better than I was expecting, honestly, but that heat thing has me concerned. What more do you want from me? There is a heat shield on here. The heat shield 
is only being partially effective, I think. I don't know why the heat's getting through to the command pod there. May have been a little overly aggressive with this. May have been. Hold together, little ship. We're getting into the real soupy part now. Oh god, that's so nerve-wracking. Well, I don't think we're going around again one way or another. The heat shield calmed down, that's good. We don't have the warning on the heat shield anymore. We're getting down to normal orbital speeds almost that we'd normally be coming in at, so that's good. I think we're gonna make it. I don't think this thing's gonna burn up. Assuming we, ah, uh, camera. Assuming we don't come down over those mountains and not have enough room to parachute. Yeah, we're at completely normal. Okay, so about, about, that was like, what, 30k that I did? That seems to be a reasonable target from mid miss. That seemed to work out pretty darn well. Yeah, it was, the Apple apps was at like 3.32, uh, I think. So that seems about reasonable, so. It seems like this is about the same as Deadly Reentry. We don't have any more heat warnings going on or anything. This is just under control now. And we'll probably be coming down in these foothills. It's not so bad. Awesome sauce. I feel pretty relieved right now. It's the first time I've like free-handed a mission as much as I did with this. I've been, you know, I've been spoiled by having my mech jet Jeb automation. I still have some of it right now where I can, you know, use a smart ASS, but the maneuver nodes and stuff are a lot more finicky when you don't have the precision to just tell Mech Jeb, I want to be at this periaps. What do I need to do to do it, you know? So it's good it worked out. And we are safe. Plenty of time left before we hit the ground. I wonder if this is worth a promotion for uh, our pilot here. I don't know how the XP works exactly. Seems like going to one of the moons would be worth something. So let's turn that off now so we'll just fall whichever which way. And... I'm not going to hit the parachute until we hit like 200. That's what I've been doing lately. It's been working out 200 meters per second. Unless we start getting kind of looking like we're close to the ground, but... Saves a little time on the re-entry. Don't look so scared, you made it. Right. Yay! She should look relieved when the actual chute opens, I think. The terrain all looks a lot better. I kind of want to hit the... Uh, time warp here. I'd, I'd be pissed if my parachute broke right now because of the time warp. I haven't had the, the Kraken attack lately, but I probably shouldn't say that. Just in case. Where's my shadow? The sun's there, so my shadow's back somewhere. Cannot see my shadow, apparently. Oh, look how lovely and flat it is here. Alright, so this should be well worth getting a couple of upgrades for, uh, for our science, I would think. Wait, what biome are we technically over? Is this just highlands? Magnetone. We could... Mm, I don't think any of those things are for whatever. We're not going to worry about the stuff on Kerbin. Recover vessel. I mean, the vessel itself should be worth something just because it's been in orbit of. Uh, close that down. So, yeah, 185 out of that. 354 science. Bunch of stuff going on. Yeah, apparently you don't get any of them. It's the same as just going to orbit, apparently. You don't get any experience for it. So, we have 354 science to spend. What do we want to spend it on? These all cost 90 each. So we do need to be choosy here. Some little satellite parts would be nice. Some engines and stuff. This looks like Kerbal Attachment stuff and some nose cones. 
Uh, I don't know, we'll hold off on that. Better aerodynamic parts wouldn't necessarily be bad. Some sort of new scanner, it looks like. Bigger heat shield. Launch escape tower. What does this do? Maneuver planner. I want my maneuver planner. Translation warp helper. Warp helper too. Yes. And a bunch of stationy parts. Not really necessary yet. Again, that beer is mighty tempting though. Well, we're getting into the point where they have a lot of station stuff. So let's go ahead with... This is annoying me because like, we don't have the fuel tanks to support those rockets yet. Where the heck are the fuel tanks to support those rockets? Are they here? Here? Okay, they're there. Um, we'll buy the satellite parts. Maybe just short of being able to buy something else, too. What do we got here? Thermometer, some other sensor. Yeah, this is all the Kerbal stuff. Well, those are useful. I think we'll go for that. All right, so that is going to just about do it for today. I'm going to probably go scrounge up six more science so that we can unlock one more level of something in here at some point. Uh, I'll probably just go walk around and see what we can find. Oh, there's stuff down here I didn't even look at. What is this? Hmm. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time.